My last video on here was about the vile lefties on Twitter who celebrated and laughed at the death of Her Late Majesty, Queen Elizabeth. And one of these idiots was Trevor Sinclair. Now, if you don't know who Trevor Sinclair is, well, he did have a Twitter account. He's deleted it after what he wrote. He was a verified Twitter blue tick, and he was a very, very well-known and respected figure in British football. Now, he tweeted this. Racism was outlawed in England in the 60s and it's been allowed to thrive, so why should black and brown mourn? Hashtag queen. Now, you know, being Twitter and being a hateful tweet, it got quite a few retweets and likes. So what I'm reading between the lines here in Trevor Sinclair's tweet is that he's basically blaming the queen for the racism uh, that's gone on in Britain and so therefore non-whites black and brown people shouldn't mourn, they shouldn't feel bad. Now, not only is this a highly ignorant tweet and a stupid thing to say, but it's also massively hypocritical. You see, Trevor Sinclair, he has played for various uh, top teams in the English league, but he's also played for England. He wore the England shirt. And when you're playing international matches before each match, you sing your country's national anthem. And so he would have stood there on the pitch wearing the England shirt, the three lions on his badge, and he would have sung God Save the Queen. Now, I am convinced that most footballers these days, they don't regard it as an honour to play for their country. They're in it for the money and they're in it for themselves. They couldn't give a flying shit. Because if they did, they'd play better and they'd win things. But they don't, and it's evident that Trevor Sinclair is obviously one of them. Because when he stood there with his England shirt on and sang God Save the Queen, he didn't really mean it. Because why on earth would you sing a song uh, calling for the Almighty to save the soul of the one person who you believe is responsible for all the racism in the country? And besides that, Trevor Sinclair is a convicted racist. You see, a few years ago, he was sentenced to 150 hours of community service for racially aggravated harassment and given a 20-month ban for drink driving. So he basically uh, racially abused a policeman after being arrested for drink driving, while well, twice the limit. So there we go, folks. The proof is in the pudding. It's okay for them to be racists. So who the hell is Trevor Sinclair to call anyone a racist? And he's been convicted of it himself. What a hypocrite. And so, straying off subject slightly, and the mention of hypocrisy, Archie and Lilibet are now officially uh, HRHs, and they are also prince and princess, thanks to the death of uh, Her Late Majesty the Queen, and they've gone up a notch in the royal line of succession. Now, this is significant because Meghan Markle once claimed that royal titles, uh, HRHs and prince and princess were withheld from them because of their race. So, you know, it's another lie exposed from Meghan Markle. So back to Trevor Sinclair. There is a campaign now to get him sacked from TalkSport because he has a job there at the moment where he does live commentary. And I don't normally call for people to be sacked unless, you know, they do something really extreme and put people's lives in danger, like calling for conservative wives and daughters to be blown up etc. But, you know, Trevor Sinclair has written an extreme tweet. He is basically widening that divide, isn't he, between black and white. And he's exposed himself as an extremist, a racist extremist. And thankfully, looking at Twitter again, there are, you know, more than enough black people, people of ethnic origin, um, non-whites who are who are also mourning the death of Her Late Majesty the Queen. And it's nice to see that unification and solidarity overcoming this hatred from the lefties, it really is. And so I doubt really Trevor Sinclair will get the sack because it's okay when, when they do it, isn't it? It's okay when they say it. Because they use their uh, immutable characteristics as some sort of uh, victimhood. But there we go. Watch this space. Anyway, <laughs> that's my video. Let me know what you think in the comments. And until the next time, look after yourselves. Have a great day. And Roger Trout.